Hey folks, uh, so this is Bind VR. Today I want to show you Quest Games Optimizer. So a few months ago, I purchased this VR headset, the MetaQuest 3. And uh, after playing for like about a month, I was looking into uh, recording some of my gameplays in 4K in, instead of 1080p. Because by default, you can only um, play or capture uh, recordings in 1080p. Uh, there's no setting for 4K natively inside the main dashboard or the main uh, universal menu in uh, the Meta VR headset. So basically in camera, uh, there are, if you go into settings, uh, you have the, um, the settings here to be able, the aspect ratio, uh, to be able to choose a default format and resolution for video recording. And here you have landscape. 1080p uh, but there's no 4k here for the frame rate you have 60 fps which is the highest 30 or 50 uh, 30 or 60 fps and for the bit rate there's uh 5 10 megabits per second 15 megabits per second or 20 megabits per second so this is not what i wanted i wanted to be able to record in 4k at least for most games i know for some games it's not possible because they were programmed or developed for 1080p, 1080p several years ago uh, unless they have been optimized recently but uh yeah so obviously the newer games will most likely be able to play in hd uh, or sorry, uh, HD plus, uh, anyway, 4k, but, um, I know that for older games is not possible. Anyways, as I was looking, uh, in YouTube for some reviews on how to capture gameplays in 4k, I found SideQuest. I installed SideQuest, but it didn't quite allow me unless I wasn't able to find a way to capture 4k with SideQuest and I found it to be a little bit troublesome. So eventually, as I looked into this a little bit more, I found Quest Games Optimizer, and this is one I want to show you today. So uh, this is the um, the older website, uh, anagain79.itch.io, Quest Games Optimizer. So this was developed by anagain79 or anagain79 or uh, 79, because I know he's a French guy from France. Um, and this is uh, where you can read about what it can do. Okay, so I'm not going to go through this. It's going to be too long. Anyways, I installed this, which is a quite a long process, but it worked out and I want to show it to you. So this is the older website. There's a new website. So if you go to, on the on YouTube and you look for his YouTube channel, which is uh, Quest Games Optimizer, uh, you can find this. And here he shows you how to install it. So how to install Quest Games Optimizer with SideQuest. Uh, how to install with the developer hub. Uh, how to enable ADB and so on. And then it shows you how to use it. Uh, where does it, how to install. Yeah, he doesn't quite show you how to use it actually now that I think about it. He gives you a little demo, but it doesn't actually show you how to use it. It, it he does have a video how to organize your apps which i watched and it was a little bit useful shows you how to organize your apps inside folders which by the way the uh the meta uh, universal menu or dashboard doesn't allow you to do this so if you go here uh, this is what you see normally uh, by default you have your games basically you have all your apps here but although you can sort by, you know, updates, MetaQuest apps, uh, you can sort by recent and alphabetic order, you can create folders and organize the way you wish uh, in um, the, uh, the Meta dashboard. However, with Meta, uh, sorry, with the Quest Games Optimizer, it is possible. So, um, if you come here, you can watch his videos and he also has a new uh, official website, which is questgamesoptimizer.com. So if I come here, you see that this is his new website. This is the older one, and this is the new one. Uh, now in the older one, I think is where you can purchase, right? You can buy now, but in the new website, well, it's a little bit more, uh, uh, he has uh, more, uh, 
visually speaking, it looks better if you just want to uh, look into what it can do for you. He also has the FAQ, fre Frequently Asked Questions, and you can go through this yourself. Now I'm going to show you the Quest Games Optimizer. So it always does this, and then uh, you can clear this, and then this is what you would normally see at the beginning. And here you have the, once you follow the instructions on his website on how to install this, because it takes quite a bit of work, you have to click different things, you have to install different things to be able to get this Quest Games Optimizer installed. But once you've installed it, you can come in the general settings and you could go through all these settings to see what this tool can allow you to do. Uh, this is the ADB terminal, which is required for this to, to launch and to work properly. Uh, you, he has instructions on how to install this. In fact, when you install SideQuest, you also need to activate ADB, which is the same process here. Uh, now, here's what I wanted. Because I asked him, like, where do I, where do I go to capture 4K for my video, uh, for my gameplays? And he told me to come here, and he showed me that on his website there's a section where he shows this, uh, this sort of a print screen. So I came here and I saw capture format, aspect ratio 16 by 9, and here's 4K, 3840 by 2160p. This is 4K. The eye selection that I choose is right. It's not 3D because 3D means that you will see both eyes on a 2D, two-dimensional screen. So 3D is only if you will want people to watch your videos in 3D with a headset. If not, which is not my use case, uh, you have to choose your strong eye. Uh, my strong eye is the right eye, not the left eye. Uh, here you have the compression quality. I choose 100 megabits per second. I think that my VR headset is able to do that quite fine. Uh, I don't know how it's going to behave in the future when I install more games and I get bigger files. Anyways, I always transfer my captures. As soon as I'm done capturing gameplays, right away, I connect my VR headset to my computer and I cut and paste uh, my videos on my computer. So I don't leave them here. Otherwise, I know it's going to take too much space. I do that every time. It's a bit annoying, but that's what I do. So uh, for the frame rate, I choose 60 frames per second. And so once you set all these things up, you can create folders here. Or you can create, uh, where do you create folders? Create a category. And you could create a folder. And I created purchase folder. And inside the purchase folder, I assigned my games in this folder. So when I close uh, Quest Games Optimizer, and then I come back, you know, I launch my headset, I want to play something, I come to Quest Games Optimizer, I launch it, and then right away, it comes here. And so I don't have to be bothered by all the other apps that no normally appear in the main meta dashboard. So if I come to the main meta library, you see that my games are mixed with all the other apps and I don't, I don't like this. So I prefer now to just use Quest Games Optimizer every single time. I come here and my games are already organized in this folder instead of you know, every, all the apps being mixed together. So I can come here and then I can right away select which game I want to play. Now, there's a few caveats. For the past month, I've been using this Quest Games Optimizer and I noticed that some games are not rated. So this developer works with other developers and they test many, many games. They test like thousands of games. I don't remember the number, if it's a thousand, a thousand five hundred games. But they continue testing games all the time. And so they give a rating based on the Quest Games Optimizer. So, for example, this one, Arizona Sunshine Remake, is HD qualified. So if I come to edit, you see it's qualified for HD. It's not qualified for 4K. And you can change these settings and perhaps you will have problems. Uh, it's probably going to be lagging, bugging, uh, freezing. 
So I tried to play with this, but it didn't give me good results. And I don't want to waste my time recording uh, gameplays over and over again. So then I simply choose the defined uh, profile that they that they recommend. So if I go back, uh, normally I don't change those settings. I just choose the, the, the setting that they recommend. So for example, Dungeons of Eternity and Bone Lab are able to capture 4K. But Arizona Sunshine, Arizona Sunshine 2 doesn't even have a rating. You see, it doesn't have a rating, which is why I find that when I capture a video of Arizona Sunshine 2, it has a tendency of lagging and bugging way more than Arizona Sunshine Remake. In fact, it says here, the game have this uh, grammar, the game has some lags and stutters during some zombie waves. This is not QGO related or Quest Games Optimizer related. So it's just the game itself has a tendency of stuttering more than Arizona Sunshine Remake. And yes, that's my experience as well. So I confirm that to be true. Now, unfortunately, because Arizona Sunshine 2 has a, a tendency of stuttering and lagging more than Arizona Sunshine Remake, when I record a gameplay of Arizona Sunshine 2, what I do is I come to, I don't use Quest Games Optimizer. I come to the, uh, to the traditional meta, uh, uh, how you call this, library, and I launch Arizona Sunshine 2 from here. And I don't use QGO for this, for this particular game. And I have a tendency of getting a better recording without using QGO for Arizona Sunshine 2. But for the other games, I use um, the Quest Games Optimizer, even Vader Immortal, 2, uh, Vader, Vader Immortal 3 uh, doesn't have a rating but oh actually it does i don't know why it uh, i don't know why it doesn't appear on the you know on the uh, the thumbnail but uh, yeah actually it does have a rating and it does it does work fine in 4k actually uh but i don't know why i don't remember if i'm able to capture only in 1080p because i i remember testing recently and i noticed that my videos were in 1080p instead of 4k for this game but i I may have uh, maybe a, a false memory. Anyways, so that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. Thank you very much. And I'll see you on the next video.